What's up guys, we're back with the long-awaited PSA return. It's only a one-card return this time, unfortunately, but it is a PSA return. We've been waiting for so long, but before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think we're going to get on the grade. And we're also doing a pack opening. We have three Storm of Ragnarok and three Extreme Victory packs, so some pretty nice packs. Then we have the PSA grade, so we're going to go ahead and open these up. Hopefully we can get some nice pulls, and then hopefully we can get an epic grade. <sighs> so you're probably wondering why I asked you here today. Otis sponsored the video. Otis is a stock market for culture. Otis is an alternative investment app that allows anyone to buy and sell shares of culturally relevant pieces. Basically, Otis gives you a chance to own iconic, expensive, or rare pieces that you've always wanted. They do weekly drops, including graded cards like this first edition Blastoise, epic video games like this Super Mario Land, and legendary sneakers like these 1985 Air Jordans. Check out the pieces I mentioned and the latest drops by downloading the app. Sign up for Otis with a link in my description and get your first share for free when you fund your account, terms apply. And I'm also gonna be giving away this booster box to one of you guys who signs up for Otis. Make sure you screenshot that you signed up. Thanks again to Otis for sponsoring the video. Meeting is adjourned. So let's start off with Storm of Ragnarok. Let's see what we can do here. Can we pull a legendary ghost rare? Let's do this. Ultra rare, we take that too. Seeker rare, needle ball, token stampede. We've got a Sheehan smoke signal. And a worm, Jettle. Okay, yeah, on to the next one. <laughs> okay, on to the next one. We have an extreme victory. Can we pull the junk berserker ghost rare? Can we pull the tour guide secret rare? Either one, we're going to be hyped about. Okay, the TG Jet Falcon. Power Up Adapter. ESP Amplifier. Tigress. Psybeast. And the Tyrant's Tantra. This guy's in a ton of different cards, this Tyrant. Okay, here we go. Come on, so far 0 for 2. Can we pull something big out of our six packs? These were very weird. All right, we have a Kagamusha of the Six Samurai. Also Kagamusha of the Blue Flame from LOB, so that's he's a relative. Scrap Shark. March toward Ragnarok. And a legendary Six Samurai, Kazan. We did get a super, so we'll take that. I think I think this might be an okay card. I'm not totally sure. I'd have to double check. Pretty nice card. Extreme Victory. Oh, man. Well, I've not opened much of this overall on the channel. We opened a booster box a couple of years ago, but we have not opened a too much in general. We got a TGX1HL. That is a lot of numbers and letters. Just ju jumbled up. And we got a safe zone. That is a super rare. Is that the BES Crystal Core in there? That's giving me bad flashbacks to Cybernetic Revolution Booster Box. You guys should check that video out if you haven't. Safe zone. Super rare. All right. Storm of Ragnarok. Here we go. Here we go. Karakuri Gold Dust. Scrap Shark. Odin's Eye. Cosmic Compass. Diverge. Wait, is there a line through that name? What is this? Do you guys see that? Look at that. You see that line going through it? Diverge of the Nordic Alphar, but there's a line going through all the words until Alphar. That's really weird. An Hourglass of Courage. Very weird. I don't know. I don't know. You guys can let me know. that We pulled a weird misprint where there was actually a name in another rare's name the other day. I didn't realize it. Some of you guys messaged me and told me, like, dude, that's there's like another name in there. I was like, no way. That's crazy. So we're getting some weird stuff. We got Extreme Victory to end it last pack before the PSA return. Here we go. Mech Time Blast. Catapult Dragon. Scout Security. Mech Lord Army of Grinnell. A little bit shifted up. That's cool. And a Sheehan's Advisor. Cool. Sheehan's Advisor. Super rare, so three supers, not bad, nothing crazy, but also three foils out of six packs is pretty good. Okay, let's get into what we are here for, the PSA box. Let me cut this thing open. This is going to be quite difficult, probably, because these are usually not easy to get into. I do have, by the way, I think five other submissions there. Two of them are only one card, but two of them are like over 35 cards. So when those finally do come back, it's going to be pretty awesome. We're going to have some really good returns, but right now we are stuck with the one card return. Um, you know, because they're super slow. I did send this one Super Express. I have a story behind this. I'll let you guys I'll let you guys know as I'm pulling them out. So I actually cut that open pretty well. They sleeve the slabs now? 
No way. Maybe it's only Super Super Express. Wait, I thought there was supposed to be a special presentation for Super Express. Maybe not. Okay. So the story with this guard. Oh my goodness. What is that? What is this? Oh, we got to check. We got to pull it out of the sleeve. Which, by the way, I didn't know they put those in there. What in the world? They got a bunch of crap on the back. A Super Express level. We got crap on the back. The good side is this is definitely on the slab, but like, all, like, why is there all this crap on there? I need to like clean it all off. I don't know. I don't know why that's all in there. So the story with this card is, okay, let me see if I can cover it up. First edition Faded Summon Skull. You guys saw this one in a return video. So one of my friends is a big Faded collector and he told me, he's like, please send it in Super Express. I'll pay for half of it. And I was like, are you sure? Like... Like, what if it gets a 9? He's like, I don't care. Just do it. So I was like, okay. So I sent it in. I was going to save it for, like, when they open back up. But he really wanted it. So let's see. So this card's super nice. Super faded. There's a little bit of, like, maybe cutting issue right there. Super, I mean, like, super faded. Not the worst, like, the most faded, but pretty faded. Beautiful card in really nice condition. And so we submitted it Super Express. It came back extremely quickly. So the Super Express, you do get your money's worth. They do come back really fast. Um, this is the first time I've ever done it. I only did it because he said he would pay for half of it. So I basically paid 150. He paid 150, and we got this back. And he said he wanted to buy it. So we have a Summon Skull faded. Let me know in the comments what you think the grade is, and let's reveal it. Mint nine. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, this is killer. I really, I don't know. It has to be like the top edge. Is that what it is? It's gotta be this top edge that is not completely cut like really super well. There's also a possibility that they don't really, um, sometimes with faded cards, they tend to like give it a lower grade. I don't know why. I guess maybe they think it's like altered or something. And not altered, because then they would say it's all, I don't know, I don't know. So that could be part of it. I think it's that top edge. I think that has to be it. There's some more crap on there. Let's see if you can see anything else. I don't really see too much. The card looks really nice. There's all kinds of crap all over the slab, so it's really hard to show this. Like, that is on the slab right there. Um, that's on the slab. I think all this can be get can be gotten off, but it's going to take some scrubbing or something. All right. So that top edge is definitely not cut perfectly. I bet that's why I got the 9. But, like... A couple years ago, this is a shoe in 10, guys. It's a shoe in 10. So I got a question. It was like, do you think PSA is grading harder? And they said I should talk about it in a video. So I'm going to talk about it a little bit right here. I do think they're definitely grading harder than they used to. So that's a good and a bad thing. The good thing is um, they're a little, they're probably more consistent when they're when they grade harder. The bad thing is it is much harder to get 10s, but when it's harder to get 10s, the 10s are worth more. So if you have a 10 already, it's good. But if you don't have a 10, you keep getting 9s and you think it should be a 10, it's not. So the reason I think that they're grading harder is they've gotten more strict with Yu-Gi-Oh cards and like stuff like that because it wasn't as popular a few years ago. And once it got more popular and more valuable, they realized we can't just give out 10s to everything. I think that's what's going on. So with cards like this that are very, very good condition but have and a cutting issue on the top maybe they give a nine when back in the day that was a shoe in 10 every single time um centering is even good on this thing i mean this thing's really really nice so yeah it is much harder to get the tens than it used to be and with the prices going up and it being more difficult to grade it is becoming less it's less valuable to grade your cards it used to be an automatic like if you had a mint card you should grade it no matter what because the cost wasn't very much you were going to get a huge return if you got a 10 but now you have to pay a lot more especially with them clothes paying 300 dollars uh the return is much much lower you have a much stronger chance of getting an eight or a nine and the values isn't as good returning back when you get the card back but that's that makes sense because it was ridiculous how good the value was for a while like there was no reason not to grade your cards because you would always make money on them. And it that's just not going to last. Anytime you can make money every single time or like most of the time, it's going to balance out. So that kind of is how this is working with PSA graded cards. Um, they're getting a little bit more strict and more expensive because their, their service is providing value to tons of people. So it makes sense. It's still a really good to grade your cards for value, 
for protection, for display. I mean, there's still great reasons to do it. I'm not saying that you should not grade your cards anymore. I'm just saying it is more expensive now and it is less worth it than it used to be because it was just, it was a no brainer before. Now it's more of like, you need to think about what you're gonna grade. Is it worth it for me to grade this card? Is it worth it for me to grade that card, etc. But yeah, that's it for this PSA video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully we're gonna have more of these returns coming up with more cards, not just one card. I do have the Mechanical Chaser at Super Express. I sent it in because I figured we might as well submit that card because it was such an epic pull and uh, get it back quick. So it's going to be a one card return coming up for that as well. But after that, I have like an express order with over 200 cards. That's going to be like in 2025 that we get that back. I think there's two that I did in 2020 that should be back sometime this year that are like 30 to 40 cards. Those will be fun as well. And that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Elemental Hero Dark Bright Boom! Oh, <laughs>